Siamo qui nella redazione di Rumors dove è venuto a trovarci Sebastian Jacques che si prepara a compiere un, un'impresa davvero quasi titanica. E è un ragazzo canadese che infatti ha deciso di percorrere eh, l'Italia a piedi da Chiasso a Santa Maria di Leuca e ripetere così un'impresa che aveva già compiuto nel, negli Stati Uniti facendo un vero e proprio cost to cost sempre soltanto sulle sue gambe questa però non è soltanto un'impresa atletica ma ha un significato ben più profondo e quindi appunto noi l'abbiamo invitato qui per, per farcelo raccontare Hi Sebastian, thank you for joining us and uh, so let's start from the beginning uh, you, you used to be a tennis player when you, when you were young And then in 2010 you started like to feel like you were losing weight and you, c- you couldn't walk for more like uh, 50 minutes. I, uh, and uh, so what's happened then? And yes, I was in a university in the States. Uh, I was a tennis player, obviously, so I was training five hours a day. Uh, to then start having health issues where I couldn't walk more than 15 minutes a day. We ended up uh, finding that I had a brain tumor, uh, but it took four years of hell, that I say, you know, or four years where I can barely stand more than 10 minutes. Um, so I was spending most of my days on my parents' couch. Uh, I was just trying to keep hope, staying positive every day to try to find a solution to, to my health issues, and eventually I had brain surgery uh, in California four years later. Yeah, you, you actually uh, funded a, a, a surgeon who agreed to uh, have a, you know, a surgery on you, and it, but um, you had to do a crowdfunding, of, of course, to like, raise money, so can you tell about something about that? Yes, 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 it was absolutely amazing, because I did find the doctor, the surgeon to do the surgery, but it cost $110,000. Uh, so we went out in the media and just asked for help. Then we raised $110,000 in two weeks. So it was amazing to see how humans can all come together and help someone. It was very emotional for me because most of the people I didn't even know. Right? And they were giving like money and like, oh, good luck, Sebastian. I hope you're going to find your health back. And so it was extremely touching for me. And at the same time, it was a little bit scary because the more you saw the money you get raised, I was like, oh, I'm getting very close to getting the brain surgery, you know, so it was uh, emotional and, and fun at the same time, you know. Yeah, so then you had the surgery and uh, so you were, you, were told, you were told that you wouldn't be able to walk more than 15 uh, minutes per day for the rest of your life before, before finding this diagnosis. And so um, after the surgery, you Uh, found it again, you know, your strengths, and you decided to do this great walk through uh, the USA. Uh, tell, tell us about, about this, like, crazy <laughs> decision and your, uh, your, your walk. Yeah, well, I, I just wanted to find a way to give hope to people going through tough times in their lives, you know? For me, I wasn't able to walk more than 15 minutes a day, and I wanted to be able to tell people, look, I'm now walking a marathon a day through the United States, from east to west, to let you know that it's okay to go through difficult situations in your life. You can not only overcome them, but accomplish beautiful things afterwards. And for me, it was, I just wanted to make someone smile who was going through tough times. It was really the core. I was like, if I can make one person smile, it's going to be worth all the long days, the pain, the doubts that I was going through every single day for six months. And it ended up being the most beautiful, amazing adventure of my life by far. Yeah, and uh, you actually founded a lot of people along the way and who helped you. I mean, I, I, I guess they hosted you, yeah. they fed you. Yeah. So how was that kind of, how, how, how were like, the relationship with, with them? Yeah, I didn't expect that at all. Right? I had my tent and my stroller, so I thought I was going to sleep in my tent every night, uh, but I only stayed in my tent nine nights you know, out, of, out of the whole adventure. Uh, so yeah, I met some amazing people who opened their homes, who fed me, uh, and it made a big difference for me to be able to go through the six months. And it's by far the, the side of the adventure that I remember the most, because you know? to me it's not a physical challenge. You know? Yes, it's, it seems like a sport challenge of, oh, he's walking marathons, but the human side of the story, you know, to give hope, but then to see people 
all come together and say, oh, I want to help Seb, you know, you can come and stay at my house tonight and we're going to have dinner together. And all that side to me is what's the nicest part of these adventures that I'm doing. Yeah, and along the way, you also met Giulia Valentina, and who is an Italian influencer uh, for, for who doesn't know her. And she, act, she posted you on her Instagram, uh, she posted your story on her Instagram, and then you, like, uh, you, you raised a lot of Italian followers, so also in Italy, everyone was Uh, talking about you, about your story, I was like, uh, it, that was a surprise for you? Oh yeah, absolutely. So Julia was the, 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 the most amazing surprise ever because I was in Arizona. You know, I'm getting closer to the end of the walk and a lot of people stopped on the side of the road every day, right? So I thought Julia was just another, you know, tourist wanting to know what I'm doing. And then so I share my story. Then she can I take a picture? I said, is it okay if I share it on social media? You know, she just said that. And I was like, yes, of course, like everyone else, please share my story. If we're able to help one person, it's, it's going to be amazing. Thank you. So say bye. And then that night, I, I remember I was at McDonald's and I'm on my phone and I see my Instagram and I'm like, wait, the Instagram went from 2,000 to 12,000 in a, like six hours, you know? And I was like, whoa, what's, what's going on? And then I saw that it was <laughs> Julia who had a lot of followers and then just the messages also though, you know, like you can see that her followers are so human, like uh, the, the messages I received were absolutely amazing, you know? So since that moment, I always had that idea of doing the walk here because the Italians were so nice. The messages of, you know, oh, you're giving me hope in my situation. Thank you, Sebastian, for doing this walk. And I was like, oh, wow, you know, it's amazing. So yeah, that, that was all due to Julia. And now obviously I have a, a decent following of Italians. We had my book translated in Italian. So I thought I was never going to do another walk again, you know? Yeah. I always said, no, 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 it's only one, I'm done. And now here I am in Italy, so. Yeah, so this is your journey uh, to Italy, actually, uh, as, as you said, you published a book, and then you translated it in, uh, in Italian, and it has a lot of success uh, here also. And in this book, you tell your story and something else, or? Yeah, well, that's it. To me, the, the book is the best way to know why I do this, right? It's, I'm not here to say, oh, I can walk 47 marathons in 50 days. That's, I don't care about that side, right? But if in the book, it shares my story from going from an elite athlete, top of the game, you know, I'm on top of the mountain and one day, boom, you collapse, you fall, you're done, right? All your dreams, everything goes away. And then how I had to go through the four years of hell and then how I did the walk, Uh, so yeah, it tells you more about who I am as a person and why I'm doing these things, you know, that it's again not a, not a physical feed, it's not a sport feed, that's not why I do them, it's really a walk of hope and, you know, I think we're, we're all lucky to be alive and I think we all have the opportunity every day to try to make it an amazing adventure and I strongly believe that everyone has the potential to accomplish beautiful things in life. Not to, to walk marathons, but whether it's for work, in, in, in your personal life, whatever. Like we all have such a nice something, a gift inside of us, right? That we can accomplish beautiful things. And I think if people by seeing me walk, they do, oh, okay, yeah, Seb's able, okay, I'm gonna do this also now. To me, it's the biggest uh, gift, yeah. And there is a specific thing that um, about Italy and Italian people that like specifically uh, amused, you, amused you and I don't know, uh, that you appreciate uh, specifically about Italian people. Well, that's it. Since the meeting with Julia and then all the followers that came upon, just the way you guys, the Italians, speak but interact so intense emotional and and true real you know because me i'm someone very i can't lie and you guys the italians seem very true you know they're they're, they're gonna share their emotions and so that's a side that i obviously like a lot and uh yeah for the past five years they they've been asking uh, sebastian when are you coming to walk in italy when are you coming to walk in italy so it obviously always stayed in my mind and now It's finally happening, so I'm extremely excited and I've had a super nice uh, welcome here and uh, the walk is already starting in five days, so. Yeah, so you are, you are living from Chiasso in Switzerland, uh, like really close to the Italian border. 
and you are walking through Italy from Chiasso to Santa Maria di Leuca, which is like really in the south of Italy. And you actually uh, found it. A lot of people were willing to host you and, you know, as, I, as I said before, feed you and also maybe uh, walk with you. So how was the, the response here in Italy about this, uh, this journey? Yeah, so I had put a post on uh, Instagram uh, to see if people would be able to host me and it's 50 nights and we found 50 people who can host me. So it's absolutely amazing. So I don't need to bring a tent, you know, so because I have a backpack for this adventure. So if I may be like the lighter I am, the better. So now I didn't need to bring a tent. Uh, so I'm going to have 50 different people who I'm going to be able to get immersed in the Italian culture. Uh, so yeah, I think it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be beautiful for sure. Yeah, for sure you're going to meet a lot of a lot of them and you know, I think that's the best part as you as you said before, like of uh, special moment, enjoy special moments with, with people and also maybe learning something about our culture because of course you're going to have dinner yeah. and you're going to, you know, see the home. So I, I'm sure you're going to learn a lot of, about about Italy uh, yeah, <laughs> itself. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And so how many kilometers you are going to walk and what, what do you expect from this adventure? Yeah, so I'm walking, it's, it's around uh, uh, 1,970 something kilometers, I think. It's 40, a little bit over 47 marathons. So it's, I'm walking 42, I need to walk 42.2 kilometers a day, minimum, uh, and then you do that every day <laughs> again and again and again but that's to me that's the, the the challenge but it's also the beauty of these walks it's everyone can do one walk you know i could bring you tomorrow and say let's go we're gonna go walk 42.2 kilometers together you'd be able to do it day two okay may, maybe <laughs> yeah and then three four that's when you see okay like keep going you know uh, let's see how strong you can be mentally and just keep going one step at a time you know one tiny step at a time you can actually accomplish beautiful things and me that's the side I'm trying to connect with people because I feel if I would be running it, sometimes it's hard to connect because be like oh what a machine he's running 42 k's and I was like no no I'm walking you know so you can walk yeah. so and why can't can you do, do that yeah so it becomes just a very physical obviously but mental uh, battle but I'm excited for it yeah for sure and when you when you walk through USA you have like some I don't know bad moments or uh, you make you made some mistakes that you learned from for this new journey? Uh, yes, well I would say in the training before the walk, you know when I did uh, the US, I didn't walk much before the walk because I thought oh, I'm gonna walk so much that I don't want to hurt my legs or get my feet too tired, whereas that was not a good plan. So now I walked a lot in the past few months uh, and what I learned from the States also was to do small steps. Like instead of big strides, you do like tiny steps so you don't get injured as much when you're walking uh, that long. It's pretty much that. It's more I learned how it's going to be tough. So I'm not sure that's a good thing because when I went to the States, you have that naive side of, oh, yeah, I'm going to go walk. Uh, now I know. I know what it's going to do to my body and my mind. So, I, uh, so it's like, okay, well, I'm throwing myself in the dungeon pretty much, so I know what to expect. So I prepared a little bit better, but then I, I know, you know, so I know it's in five days, I'm trying not to think about it too much, because yeah, even though I'm walking, it's, it's, it becomes tough. Uh, on day 10, uh, it's gonna be tough, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure about that. And so uh, after this uh, like wonderful journey, what's, what are your plans for the future after that? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> I'm someone who, you know, with everything I've been through with my health issues, you know, before I used to be very, okay, in two years I want to be there and I want to be doing this. And with my health issues, you know, I just go either one day at a time, honestly, and I just try to be a better person. It seems silly, but, you know, when people say, Seb, you know, you have that amazing job back home, you do these walks, you know, me, uh, I'm still in school and I'm not sure what I want to do. I say, look, just try to be a better person tomorrow. Just work on yourself. And that's what I do every day. You know, I just try to listen to my friends more, maybe try to be more respectful to people, try to be more generous, try to give more of my time. And I constantly work on myself as a human being. 
and then the rest follows it's almost magic <laughs> you know but so after italy i'm going back home i'm going to continue my normal job there but obviously by doing my second walk it's as if it now like i want to do more yeah. you know because i'm like oh now i did it i'm going to be doing a second one now what's the next one i could do i didn't think like that when i did the states i was really like no no let's get through the states and i'm done forever now well we'll see maybe if we speak at the end i'm going to be like never again am i doing this but uh yeah it's just a really nice it's a really nice adventure and it's my way of giving back after everything that i've been through you know it's the only reason i do these walks is to me it's my way of giving i'm like hopefully you know there's going to be someone in italy that's it, it depends you know i can have people who are suicidal who have trouble in their jobs in their personal life who can be watching this interview following during the adventure on social media and say wow okay yes i'm going to keep fighting and to me that means everything to me and that's why i do it so will i do another walk if i do another walk it's for the same reasons right so i like it now you know to share that message and to make someone smile so yeah that's that's really uh good and nice for you so if i if i can ask so you are, you actually have a, a normal job also yeah. back home okay and what do you do yeah, yeah. so i'm uh well it's called i'm a general manager of a private tennis club back home so it's you know it's kind of in line with what i was younger but yeah so it's a big job that demands a lot of my time uh in the summer so like in the summer i work 80 90 hours a week but in the winter for three months i'm able to escape and do what i want so like now i'm able to do this so yeah no i don't i'd like to only be doing walks <laughs> and make a living from that but no i like what i do also uh, back home and i'm i always tell people whether i do interviews or conferences i say i'm the most normal human being ever like i'm not different than anyone else like i'm the guy who's going to be at home eating his cereal at night and watching tv and to me that's an important side to be like uh, you don't have more ordinary guy than me right and i was able to overcome super difficult times for four years and i was able to accomplish pretty big things also afterwards but i'm a super normal ordinary guy right it's just the mindset that i bring to the table that's where it's maybe a little bit different but that's where i'm like i'm 100% sure that everyone can can have that right everyone can just wake up in the morning and you know uh, choose what kind of mindset they want to start the day with yeah i think that that's actually the special things about you because as you said you're just one of us yeah. so that's that's what really inspiring and one last question do you have any big dream oof uh, no honestly big dream that's a good question no i just i just me I, no it's a good question i don't i'm not sure i have a big dream again it's just to keep improving myself as a person i just hope that when i'm on my deathbed i can smile and have no regrets about my life and say i was a good person for my friends my family and that i was able to try to make the world a little bit a better place and that's pretty much it for me yeah yeah thank you thank you very much <laughs> Ringraziamo Sebastian Jacques per averci raccontato la sua splendida storia e gli facciamo il nostro migliore in bocca al lupo per uh, il suo viaggio attraverso l'Italia e ovviamente a uh, tutti i fan e i lettori di Rumors se volete seguirlo e se vi siete appassionati alla sua storia uh, potete seguire tutto il suo percorso sul suo profilo Instagram.